Well, you get in that kitchen, make some noise with the pots and pans. There are secrets to making delicious, not a lumpy gravy. Christy Rost, author and TV host, is with us. Hi. Hi, happy Thanksgiving, Same Tim. Thank you. Oh, thank I you love very it. much. Sparkle, you know? sparkle. It's Thanksgiving. Okay, so you've got, you've got uh, the latest of three cookbooks out right yes. now and Celebrating yes. Celebrating Home. Celebrating Home. A handbook for gracious living is yes. the one that we have yes, today. Yes, we're with feeling us. so gracious because it's Thanksgiving. Yes, and you've got a great gravy recipe. Oh, I do. You know, Mastering the Art of Gravy, that's the one thing that makes people quake in their boots oh, yes. oh yeah so after after roasting the turkey mm -hmm. and the key is start the turkey at a high temperature about 425 to 450 degrees mm -hmm. I um, just base it with a little bit of olive oil and some uh, salt and pepper okay stick it in the oven fill the cavities with onion and celery and all those good things stick it in the oven at 450 for 25 minutes it's going to brown it beautifully okay. it will sear it on the bottom of the pan and oh it's that searing on the bottom of the pan that gives these gorgeous juices then you turn the temperature down either 325 right. or okay. 350 depending on how quickly you need the turkey so these are the beautiful pan drippings I've removed all the fat from it and so this is a last minute gravy okay, okay. the turkeys come out of the oven it's resting in the meantime I took the neck and of the turkey and the giblets and I put in onion and celery and I cook that for about three or four hours and it gets all that fabulous flavor there so you have homemade turkey broth that way oh. and I just strain it in here like this now if you don't have a strainer no problem do it without straining sure and then you have what's called rustic gravy would you go ahead and stir that for me I would love to Tim and also would you put in these two bouillon cubes and then lots of people love to have have mashed potatoes right. for their for their uh, you know turkey dinner and their okay, gravy yeah. and all that and so what I do let me get this thing out of the way and so what I do is I save the water because it has all that great flavor and it has nutrients in there mm -hmm. and it has starch in there which helps to thicken the gravy okay. and of course again we're talking flavor so and, I just add all, the all this in for my skin all too. the steam oh it's wonderful it's like a little steam <laughs> bath you know a little wrinkles. little touch <laughs> of the spa on Thanksgiving day which is all you're gonna get in the okay. morning so now what else? and then so I've made what's called a slurry and this is just flour and water well, and water. put okay. this together and then Lauren would you gradually yeah. add that in sure. I can even remove this Okay. And Tim's going to keep stirring right. and uh, just a little bit at a time. And I'm okay. going to add a whisk here to do this. So you add a little fresh pepper to this. You may or may okay. not need salt. It's all about the flavor. So why do you have to do this a little at a time? Because you don't want to put a big bowl of some of it in and it gets all lumpy. Lumpy, okay. Right. That's where the lumps That's come from. That's where the lumps yeah. come from. And the other lumps are when people add uh, the flour to the cold water, yeah. then you get lumps. So you oh, always okay. put your flour in the bowl first, then add the liquid. Huh. So this is a last minute thing while my husband Randy is busy um, slicing and carving the turkey. I'm making the gravy. Voila. Everything else is ready. We have turkey, we have pumpkin pie, we have gravy. We are set for a great Thanksgiving with lots of veggies. And don't forget you, the cranberry sauce. You oh. can find Christy's <laughs> great gravy recipe as well as uh, a link to your new YouTube channel as yes, well Christy on Ross Cooks. our website, myfoxcfw.com. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. We'll be right back.